Prince Charles Personal Florist today become Britain's 3500th business to pay the real living wage. Moises Stevens Flowers won accreditation from the Living Wage Foundation after agreeing to pay its 45 workers the independently calculated rate of N pound, 9.75 in London, more than N pound, 2 above the legal minimum. The company holds the royal warrant to supply flowers to the Prince of Wales. The 141-year-old firm's director David Cohen said, We are proud to be the milestone 3,500th employer to implement the London living wage across our branches to boost each staff member's annual salary and acknowledge the cost of living in the capital. It's a win-win for us and not only helps our employees afford to live with dignity but also helps our business by improving motivation, and retaining and attracting a quality workforce. Campaigners have urged bosses to go further than the statutory minimum and pay the real living wage, which takes into account costs like housing, travel and healthy food, and extras like kids' birthday presents. The living wage is currently and pound, 8.45 per hour, rising to and pound, 9.75 in the capital where costs are higher. In contrast, the minimum wage, which the government rebranded the national living wage, is and pound, 7.50 an hour for workers age 25 and over, dropping to and pound. 7.05 for those age 21 to 24, and pound, 5.60 for those aged 18 to 20 and just and pound, 4.05 for under 18 s. Living Wage Foundation Director Catherine Chapman said, We're so proud to reach this milestone working alongside businesses and organizations who recognize that a fair day's pay is not only the right thing to do but can also improve the quality of work, reduce absenteeism and increase motivation and staff retention. As we continue to grow, we are excited not only by the range of businesses that are committed to setting examples in their sectors by putting their staff first but also reaching across all parts of the UK.